You know what's cool? Giant robots. And there was one show I always wanted to talk about. Oh no, I'm saving you for later. I was talking about Neon Genesis Evangelion. Now this is usually the part when I break down the plot, but since this is the first time we will be tackling a Japanese show, I thought it is only appropriate to bring in a second brain, Zach. Hey Phil, and hello internet. Man, I am so stoked to be here. <laughs> okay, Zach, let's not forget to breathe. Right. Based on the popular manga series, the anime is about a teenage boy who is being recruited as a member of an elite team of pilots to defend the Earth from various threats. The series is most commonly classified as a part of the mecha genre. The mecha genre, like any other abstract concept, started in 1956 with the publishing of Tetsujin 28 Go, a manga series about a young boy inheriting his scientist father's military weapon, aka a giant robot. While this manga is attributed with the beginning of the mecha genre, I would argue its true beginnings lie in the kaiju genre. 1954, the first appearance of my main man Godzilla. We can take it even further back to King Kong in 1933, but we're focusing on giant robots, not giant hairy monkeys. Movies like King Kong inspired Japan to make Godzilla, and Godzilla was the star of the giant monster genre, aka kaiju, which eventually inspired the mecha genre, aka giant robots fighting each other and monsters. On the other hand, the career of Iron Man 28 attributed his creation to the destruction he saw after the bombing of Kobe in World War II and the film Frankenstein. Even with this information, a lot of the tropes in the mecha genre are from or shared in the kaiju genre. Giant robots? And monsters. Futuristic cities? Yes, sir, and don't forget cleaning chores. Yes! Wait, what? Growing up. This isn't in the script. First kiss. Okay. Oedipus complex. This is a family show. And elevator rides. Explosions? Explosions. Montage! But Evangelion isn't just an anime. To many fans, it's THE anime. It follows the tropes of a traditional mecha series, but tries to deconstruct it all at once by applying real-world consequences to them. How attached can a father be to his son if he spent a lifetime developing giant robots? What kind of trauma would these kids go through by destroying numerous buildings and possibly taking dozens of human lives? What kind of economical and political struggles would exist in the world that has massive amounts of their city destroyed? So it's easy to see why this show made a phenomenal impact on the West, unlike any other anime. <coughs> Pokemon! <clears throat> Alright, alongside with Pokemon. And Cowboy Bebop, Full Metal Alchemist, Dragon Ball Z, Sailor Moon. Yes, all of those too. Aren't you supposed to be the expert here? Surely, I just got carried away. Let's wrap it up. As you wish, and don't call me Shirley. Sadly, the show's final two episodes were highly criticized and became a subject of heated debate and controversy that alienated a lot of fans. But despite a disappointing series finale, the show's influence on the genre remained astronomical, leaving its mark on future manga, anime video games, cartoons, American films, which is why we still talk about it to this day. Hey, thanks for your help, Zach. Anytime, man. If you ever need me again, just give me a call. Honestly, Zach, I, I don't think I'm ready to commit to a series of crossovers. No, I, I understand. I just thought we could talk about Ghost in the Shell, Kill a Kill, or uh, Attack on Titan. Okay, you've convinced me. But only if people want us to do this again. We did it, geeks. We successfully pulled off our first crossover. You know, I feel like we just beat a level. I, I feel like we just took down a dungeon boss. I, I feel like we just gained a lot of experience points. And I feel like this bit has gone on way too long. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to check out all the links in our description, which also includes the link to our great guest Zach's channel. You will be glad that you did. Stay awesome, geeks.